All right, so this is kind of a long video, y'all. Uh, this is Scorpion. This is part of uh, what he wanted. This is uh, the 3D print of the T2 arm. Um, just kind of walk you through some of it, uh, give you some idea on the amount of time it takes to print it. Um, understand it takes pretty much as much time that it takes to print, it takes to uh, clean it up, and if not more. So um, this whole thing has been a span over a few months. Uh, I kind of put his stuff on the back burner. He's like, I'm not in a rush. Take your time. I'm like, not a problem, buddy. And I have slowly worked through this stuff and done this stuff and um, come to a finished product now, finally. So I'm starting to put these videos out for y'all just to give y'all some idea of what type of time and stuff it takes to do this. So y'all stick around, check this out. Hope y'all enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Alright, so this is going to be the first print. I'm hoping that it turns out right. Um, you can probably see in here, I had to cut each one of these things out here. I had to cut this one out uh, because we plan on putting a 10 ounce bar in and that came all the way out here. Uh, so we cut that out. <clears throat> see the little spot there where it was? And then I added that piece right there hoping I've got enough room that that 10 ounce bar can sit here and that'll keep it in like a cradle position and leaning up um, keep it from trying to slide out of the hand so it's important to kind of have general direction of where you're going uh, when you start a project uh, the next problem I had is the size that I had was too big for my machine and we really didn't need everything that was at the bottom so I sliced it and got rid of the bottom and then when I was looking inside, this was not tied together. And I was like, well, if we're gonna have a 10 ounce bar sitting up here, we need a little bit more stability anyway. So I dropped this piece down here, which tied into these that were like floating loose. So that tied this ring and that ring and all three of these all into one piece uh, to give it its stability back. <clears throat> and it's still shorter than what it was. Um, so this is supposed to be the T2 arm, I believe. So uh, let's see if it'll print. So I say let's see if it'll print and I wasn't even smart enough to uh, go over here and make sure we add some, some support. So let's see how this does. So this is your auto support. Normally does a pretty good job of covering most of what's needed, but you do have to go back and check just to make sure. It's thinking awful hard. Sometime today, maybe. All right, so I cut it off at like a minute. Uh, I'm gonna shorten that down. And uh, waited about two more minutes and it finally jumped up here with the support. So with your automatic support, you do wanna go back and check everything. Not exactly what it was supposed to do, but okay. I do believe he uh, had overloaded my computer there. But you want to go back and make sure there's no pink anywhere. Uh, it shows it to you in pink normally, letting you know that it is not properly supported. And if uh, you see something like that, then you need to go back and add manually add some supports so 
but it looks like everything's taken care of pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start to print and uh, see what happens so we got to go down here and tell it to slice uh, it might help if I put the thumb drive in first so I can move it over. So we're doing... There we go. So thumb drive is in. So we're going to go down here to tell it to slice it. It's going to go to drive F. It's named Terminator Arm Done and we're going to hit save. I'll bring you back when it's done uh, generating the sliced image because this is so big it may may take it a couple of minutes. All right, so it's finally finished. It took it two and a half hours to render that to the thumb drive so that I can actually take it and move it to the machine and print it. All right, so I'm starting to print on the arm. I've already done one and uh, it was not okay. I didn't do the full thing, just a little bit. And uh, so yeah, you can see the time at the bottom, 26 hours and 13 minutes left. It was just a couple minutes shy of 27 hour print uh, just for this arm. So that is going. I'm gonna have to come back every few hours and check it because the auto level where it's supposed to refill automatically is not working on this machine. Brand new machine, go figure good you know two thousand four hundred dollar investment that doesn't work properly but hey whatever i'll uh, email them when i get a chance but yeah so that's not working so i have to come back and fill this myself uh every so many hours to make sure it doesn't run out because if it runs out the print will stop so yeah 27 hours let's see how it turns out Alright, so left about 12.30 last night. Come back in this morning. It's about 7.30. And it looks like 18 and a half hours left to go. Something like that. Here's what we got so far. So we got a long way to go because it's going to be up to probably about here or so. Alright, so we've got 14 hours left. And that's what we're at. So I'm going to refill. The good container there. Alright, so we got 8 hours and 8 minutes left. And this is the size we're at now. saying we still got two hours and 55 minutes left i really hope i'm not here still but i do have some things that i have to finish up so i will come back tomorrow and check on this um and do the next steps to uh get it ready well i had no intentions of being here when this thing finished but it is done 27 and a half hours. This is 27 hours and 25 minutes. Now that was a print right there, buddy. 